you don't really get what they're saying. They don't really get what you're saying. Uh, there is an opinion in it. But, like, have you ever tried to see it from their side, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried, I tried. Mm. But, I don't know how to say it. I tried, but I don't feel like this. Yeah. So, my parents, they're annoying. But sometimes they're confusing. It's like, I don't know how to understand the time. It's every day. It's every day. I'm told to wash the plates. But for real, it's like every time I have my hands, mm. they're going to do something for us. It's not out to get me. And they're going to put me hands on them. Every single morning, they're going to tell me, oh yeah, you love me. But then, I'm not with you, I'm not with you. I can't put my trust in you. You'll never talk like that. Like, I wasn't brought up to you. I don't share my cares with you. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather tell it to my friends and even try to talk to you. Like, try to tell me that you're there to me and everything. But he can't change my dreams, like change my things, or not respected things, not academic things, or my dreams aren't what you wish for me. Whatever happened to me being what I had planned to be, me choosing my path, me telling them what I had planned to be, not doing everything in life as if I did It's like, I don't register the shouting, there's no way you're talking to me. What's the respectful way to say, please, watch how you speak? I don't know about you, but I've been racking my brain for hours and weeks in a different environment, in a different case. I know kids that wouldn't even think twice before hitting you in the face just for talking that way. You know, I thought we were dealing with different stakes. I thought respect goes both ways. Tell me, my friend, am I lying? Is there something instead that I should be trying? See, these are some things that can run through our minds, raising our parents all too often at times. It's like, it's all love at the end of the day. Society says it's not because of the use of the iron rod. Love is the knot that binds us together. However, did you know that I'm a millennial and you're not? A difference in our bringing is the weak spot, which is why miscommunication seeks to unlock all the hard work and love. You might think about how to get you, but that's certainly not the truth. At times, it's just confused how you don't see the truth and love you. And yes, you might not understand your experience. So, oh, but the Bible is so bad to ask the watch for your souls. So, we still try to guide you from the past that we can take. You see, we still try to arrive so you just want us to wait. And we do this every single day, and not only because we care, but because the thought of you made it into something that we fear. So, we chase you and embrace you. At times, I may break you. If I try to understand that all the time you do is guide you. It's not a single place that I love you, and you can try to run and be there right beside you. Like, there's never been a check with parents, because mm. every parent is sure we're doing something different. It doesn't mean that I'm perfect when I'm parent or Christian. At times, you make our decisions on Christ. Remember, I'm just a human, and I learn as you grow. I wish I could ask, but I'll tell you what I know. I share what I earn and give you money when you grow. Am I not allowed to ask for some papers in return? Despite what I earn, remember I'm your parent and I still want your respect. I'm sorry if your dreams I reject, but if you want approval, show me your passion. Show me if you really want I to strive for it. Show me that you're sure and I'll give you my support. But you can't expect it yet if we have no report. We we'll border over time with communication and soon we'll be in sync with no limitations. It's like, I used to think that my father would live long. I was wrong. I haven't yet reminisced. To this, to, to this very day, I'm still asking whose big idea was this. It happened at a bad time. He always knew in the wrong environment my potential was at risk. I thought he never listened, but he recognized my talent. So I moved at a fourth from the record be stricken. I can't be angry. I can't remember all what we thought about. Most of his life was laced with strife. So his anger was misplaced and replaced with lies that the devil told him. I'm not surprised. My friend here would probably agree that when your parents has gone, you know it's just a waste of a good life. Like... He wanted me to be filled with ambition because he knew the problems that our race faced. So it's probably why I shouldn't be his. It was Earth's loss and heaven's gain. Um, but as time went on, he didn't have the strength to fight anymore. So he started talking more because he started, you know, I'm sure. Yeah, I got something like that, you know. Wait. Wait, think of all the rage that you feel inside your chest when arguing with your parents, battling at your best. Now, take that rage and hold it like a token. Now place it inside a scenario I'm gonna give you in a moment. God forbid, what if your parent passes away? Where's that rage now? It'd be gone within a day. It would crumble to dust, guilt, and probably shame because you let the life end when you're parted in your ways. Now, and the grief that you caused them might partly be to blame. 
You never made the effort whilst they were around. You hadn't even tried to make their face smile for a while. But I know it's not the way you're trying to make them proud and it's that same face from which you're searching for a smile. You won't say it, but you know what you can feel inside your chest. They'll get inside telling you that you didn't try your best. Now they're dead and gone, you feel it inside. The pain and guilt of knowing that you let the love die. But why is it only now that you feel it inside your heart? When you're thinking of your parents and which you never grew apart. And you know it was you who let that love die. You know it was you who let that love die. No matter how many times you look up to cry, no matter how many times you can tears can swell up in your eyes, you know it was you who let that love die. You can wish they were still there for you to tell them that you love them, because the lack of love you showed weighs down on you like a burden, but still it was you who let that love die. Only you can let the love die.